Chapter 61. Airport heat. Feds, sheriff's men, mob lookouts. Right through them. No blinks. Up to the counter. Friendly service. A glance at my passport. I checked my money bags through. Have a pleasant flight, Mr. Smith. Gone. Just like that. The will to remember. Fever dreams. That time burning. Old now, a gringo exile, rich off real estate. My confession complete, but still not enough. Postscripts. Will Ship's dad, private practice from 59 up. Ruben Ruiz, bantam champ, 61 to 62. Chick Vecchio, shot and killed robbing a liquor store. Touch V, managing drag queen acts in Vegas. Fred Turrentine. Dead. Cirrhosis. Lester Lake. Dead. Cancer. The place lost. The time burning. Close to them somehow. Madge Cafestian. Alone. That house. Those ghosts. Wells Noonan. Convicted of jury tampering. 1974. Sentenced to three to five. Fed. A second all OD suicide en route to Leavenworth. Meg. Old, a widow, my conduit there to hear. Wealthy, our slum pads traded up for condos. Spinning, falling, afraid I'll forget. Mickey Cohen, perpetual scuffler, two prison jolts, dead, heart attack, 76. Jack Woods, Pete B., old, in failing health. Dick Carlisle, retired from the LAPD, Never charged as a Dudley Smith accomplice. Dick the Fur King. The Hurwitz stash expanded legit. Dry cleaning mogul. The easy clean chain purchased from Madge. Dudley Smith. Still half lucid. Still a charmer. Gaelic songs for the girls who wet nurse him. Edmund Exley. Chief of detectives. Chief of police. Congressman. Lieutenant governor. Current gubernatorial candidate. Acknowledged Dudley Smith admirer, politically expedient, smart. Dudley, rakish in his eye patch, pundit when sane, snappy quotes on containment, always good for a news retrospective, a reminder, men were men then. Glenda, movie star, TV star, sixty-ish, the matriarch on a long-running series. Glenda. Thirty-odd years, famous. Always with me, those pictures held close. Ageless. Every movie, every printed photo shunned. In my dreams, spinning, falling. Like Exley and Dudley and Carlyle. Exiled from me, things to tell me. Prosaic horrors that define their long survival. Words to update this confession to free me. Dreams spinning, falling. I'm going back. I'm going to make Exley confess every monstrous deal he ever cut with the same candor I have. I'm going to kill Carlyle and make Dudley fill in every moment of his life to eclipse my guilt with the sheer weight of his evil. I'm going to kill him in the name of our victims, find Glenda and say, Tell me anything. Tell me everything. Revoke our time apart. Love me fierce in danger.